I now want to relate the curl of a vector field to conservative vector fields. So recall that in two dimensions, if a vector field F equals PQ is conservative, then dq dx minus dp dy equals zero, or I could just say dq dx equals dp dy. And that follows from Clairaut's theorem. And we have the following three-dimensional generalization of this. So theorem, if the three-dimensional vector field f equals pqr is conservative, then its curl is zero. So del cross f equals zero. So what's the proof? Well, suppose that our vector field f is the gradient of some function lowercase f. So then the curl of f is del cross del f, little f. Okay, now the sort of um, not totally rigorous proof would be to note that the cross product of any vector with itself is zero because of the anti-commutativity of the cross product. So, so we sort of expect this is equal to zero. Okay, but let's be a little more rigorous here. So really we're gonna to have to use Clairaut's theorem. So, so more precisely, this is, what is this really? Um, it's um, d by dx, um, d by dy, d by dz, cross the gradient of little f, which is df dx, comma, df dy, comma, df dz. So when we expand this out, the first term is d by dy times df dz minus d by dz times df dy. So that's d squared f dy dz minus d squared f dz dy. And the next term um, is I have d by dz times df dx minus d by dx times df dz. So it's d squared f dz dx minus d squared f dx dz. And the third term is I have d by dx times df dy minus d by dy times df dx. So that's d squared f dx dy minus d squared f dy dx. So by Clairaut's theorem, the uh, mixed partial derivatives commute. Well, that's, you know, assuming that the second parcels are defined and continuous. So I guess I, sh I should have said that in the statement of the theorem. So, so we're assuming that the second partials of f are defined and continuous. And then, then Clairaut's theorem tells us that this is zero, zero, zero. Okay. Um, so for example, so is the vector field F equals x c comma cosine y comma z conservative. Well, we could test by calculating its curl. So what's the curl of f? So del cross f is d by dx, d by dy, d by dz cross xz cosine y so the first 
term is I've d by dy times z minus d by dz times cosine y, which is zero. The second term, I have d by dz of xz, which is x, minus d by dx of z, which is zero, so I get x. The third term is d by dx of cosine y, which is zero, minus d by dy of xz, which is zero. Okay, so that's the curl, and the point is that this is not equal to zero. We know that if f were conservative, then its curl would have to be zero. So since the curl is not zero, it follows that f is not conservative. Right now, there's another theorem which says that if the curl of f is zero and f is defined on a simply connected region, then f is conservative. So this is analogous to the two-dimensional case. So if f is conservative, then the um, curl has to be zero, no matter what the domain it's defined on. And if you want to go the other way, if you know that the curl of f is zero, well, maybe f is not conservative, but if f is defined on a simply connected region, then you know that it is conservative. Now, I didn't tell you what simply connected means in three dimensions. So that's actually a little bit beyond the scope of this course. So in two dimensions, simply connected means it has no holes. In three dimensions, it's more subtle. So I'll just show you a couple of examples. So if you take all of our three, that's simply connected. That's probably all you need to know for this class. If you take R3 minus the origin, so the notation is this. So this is R3 with the origin removed. And actually, this is also simply connected. So in two dimensions, if you remove a point, that counts as a hole. Um, well, there's also a hole in three dimensions, but this particular kind of hole does not mess up the simply connectedness. Um, on the other hand, if you take a, a donut shape like this, So if your region is a solid donut, so imagine this is a nice yummy chocolate donut, and R is the chocolate part, then this is not simply connected as it happens. Anyway, it's certainly true that if F is defined in all of R3, and if its curl is zero, then it's conservative, and we'll, we'll prove that later.